Your double standard stinks. Ori was slammed the DHQ over comments on Asari Dokubo. The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Uriwa, has dismissed the position of the military hierarchy as offensive double standards after the defense headquarters stated it stated that it chose not to go after the former Niger Delta militant warlord, Asari Dokubo, to avoid being accused of acting undemocratically. Oriwa criticized the military's double standard, stating, stating it stinks and demo, diminishes the, the status of armed forces of Nigeria. It is such a pathetic sight to behold the defense headquarters taken back on Asari Dokubo instead of enforcing the law by investigating, arresting, and prosecuting him, even if not for his most recent threat, but for his previous outings, in which he was seen on videos brandishing military-grade assault rifles. The association said in a statement signed by Comrade Emmanuel Ongoboko, in is the defense headquarters foreign arrogant, ignorant of all these videos of Asari Dukubo, the director of defense media operations, Major General Edward Bubas spoke in Abuja on Thursday while responding to a recent report about Asari Dukubo's alleged threat to shut down a military helicopter that had reportedly hovered around his residence. Well, uh, Nigerians, when I don't hear the matter now, the recent utterances of Asari Dukubo is tantamount to Felony, a felony against the Tinubu led government. For the military to invade his arrest and persecution of him shows that the nation law is not meant for everybody. There are certain sects of people, the law holds, especially those from the hated tribe. The Igbos are mostly the victims. Mazenam, the cannot fighting for freedom of his people, is thrown inside prison to rot and die why Asari is committing the world's crime against government. It was freely untouched. That is what is obtainable in a lawless country. But this guy, this guy's men are not the problem we have now. It is none the kind of men that are killing innocent people, including sports journalists. Okay, stop saying what you don't know. Anything about IPOP are never in violence against anybody. There is a plan and agenda from a, from the government. Nigeria is afraid of him because if you touch him, he will destroy all the whole oil well. He, his boys are well trained and the federal government pay them every month. Asari is not a pro Biafra. That is why Nigeria government cannot go after him. Nigerian democracy is gone since 2014. No hope for Nigeria country. Corruption, nepotism, and partiality are among the numerous problems of this country. Asari is a military freelance whose brevity paved way for him in a lawless nation. Hmm. So guys, these are reactions from Nigerians and they, they are still talking. When I say there is no law in this country and the law is made for a certain people, some people will say you are just talking. You don't know what you are saying. When Fulani militant brazily brandishing uh, military-grade weapons are roaming all over the nation, committing grave atrocities against Nigerians, how many did you arrest? It is very unfortunate. It, it appears some people are above the law. But nature always has its cause. Whatever that has a beginning must have an end. One day, impunity, double standard, and injustice must stop in this country. So guys, I'm dropping it here. What's your take on this? Kindly drop your comments below the comment section, please. If you're joining us for the first time, share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.